Samuel Beckett's masterpiece, Waiting for Godot, was first performed in the UK back in 1955, and now an all-black production has been put on to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Tullawa Theatre Company, set up to give opportunities to actors from ethnic minority backgrounds. Well, the play is currently running at the West Yorkshire Playhouse, features Geoffrey Cassoon and Patrick Robinson in the lead roles as the tramps of Vladimir and Estragon. They'll be with us in a moment. First, here's a look at them in action. What exactly did we ask him for? Were you not there? I can't have been listening. Oh, nothing very definite. A kind of prayer? Precisely. A vague supplication. Exactly. And what did he reply? That he'd see. That he couldn't promise anything. That he'd have to think it over. In the quiet of his home. Consult his family. His friends. His agents. His correspondence. His books. His bank account. Before taking a decision. It's the normal thing. Is it not? I think it is. I think so too. <laughs> Jeffrey and Patrick, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, a, a sort of Caribbean tinged uh, Godo, then. Are those Jamaican accents, what are they? Well, my accent is Trinidadian. Trinidadian. Um, yeah. Jamaican, Patrick so it's, it's Jamaican. West Indian. So yes. It's, it's Caribbean, yeah. basically. Yeah. Now, we talk about this being the first all-black production of Waiting for Godot. In we, the UK. In the UK. Yeah, there was one in the, South Africa and uh, in the US. Except okay. that they had a, a, a white pot, so, didn't they? Yeah. So it wasn't oh, all well, that's wasn't completely completely definitely black. not all black, yeah, exactly. then, is it? I mean, exactly. there are only a handful of characters. In five. This. Five. Five characters and very important characters. Yeah. Yeah. You have the messenger who comes from Godo and to tell us that he's not coming tonight. <laughs> 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 so we're always waiting. Yeah. Right. What is it about <laughs> what is it about waiting for Godo that still intrigues and still makes it such an important play? Um, well, I think it's it just reflects the human condition because we're always in a state of waiting, you know, for whatever it may be. And uh, I mean it touches us all whatever race, whatever creed, so uh, I think that's why it's... And it, it is a brilliant piece of writing. Um, if you've studied it and ever seen it, it's, right. it's, it's fantastic. It's almost like a perfect play. Yeah. It's a pleasure to do. Is it? You know, absolutely. Very, very, very funny, funny piece. Two guys doing nothing for two hours. Yeah. And what does having an all-black production bring to it? Is there something extra that you get out of the play as a result, do you think? Patrick? Oh, <laughs> stop it now. I think... Um, <laughs> You've body swept that, 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 uh, Well, the one thing I think about any good piece of work is that it hopefully uh, would be good if it was seen by everyone. And, um, and if it touches, uh, um, you could say, a, a part of uh, society that doesn't normally... So you're gonna, you, you are drawing a different audience in, its, in, in a well, hopefully, sense? Hopefully, hopefully. hopefully but, yeah. um, and I think the people who, who, who would identify with the black experience will actually get a lot out of it. And I think, uh, I think in a general sense, um, because it's such a great play mm. and we are responding to it as ourselves, you automatically will receive what you call the Caribbean flavor. Mm. Yeah. But we didn't go ahead, go about it so it's thinking, let's make it, you know, reggae or, or carnival or anything like that. No, we're responding to Beckett Beckett, the work that he's, he's put down on that page for us to respond to, and it's there, it's automatic. That As an actor, you, you want to do good stuff. Are, really, yeah. is it? You want to do good writing. You mentioned that you, in some ways, the aim is to reach an audience that perhaps wouldn't normally come. Is, is that a problem? Um, well, I think that uh, in terms of the, the black sort of uh, side of things, that, you know, it would be good to see more um, you know, black in the audience of lots of different pieces. I mean, before this uh, gig, I was in the West End doing uh, War Horse, and I played um, uh, a First World War uh, German officer. So, you know, in terms of a biopic, you wouldn't mm. cast me as that. But in terms of the theatrical event... There's more flexibility. Well, absolutely. And, and I see myself as an actor, so ultimately, you know, I should hopefully be, can do any role. Yeah, it's, it's, it's become a talking point recently because you'd yeah. be aware that Patrick How uh, David Howard rather said recently there really aren't enough strong authoritative roles for black actors in this country and he would encourage young black British actors to get to America <laughs> if they have ambition. Well, I, I, I think yes, if you want to become <laughs> some kind of film star, 
mm. um, you might go to America because pe most actors are wanting to get into the movies and mm -hmm. things to give them the opportunity to acquire an Oscar or a BAFTA if we're not given the parts <laughs> here. I think that's a lot, a lot of actors are saying, let's go to America because mm. you get opportunities there. Maria Jean-Baptiste was up for an Oscar, but somehow we, nobody's actually looking at her here. You understand? But she's highly successful in America, yeah. so they give people opportunities over there. But having said that, I think as far as the theatre experience, which is my, my main thing, I love the theatre, mm -hmm. I think you can't get better theatre than the theatre you get in England. I so agree. I'm not going off to America looking for anything. <laughs> I'm here because I love the work that I do here. But do you do you see any truth in what David Harewood says that that there is something a little bit more colorblind over in America, think, or maybe more multicultural, more open? Well, to I think they do the um, positive sort of discrimination where they have a sort of quota system going on. And as far as I'm concerned, in terms of the uh, the business, it's it's a bigger pond. Mm. So you, you by just you know mere percentage you get more chance to do stuff over there but yes like I think Jeffrey says the, the theatre over in the UK is far superior yeah. all right gents thanks very much Thank and you. Uh, you can see Patrick and Jeffrey waiting for God and now the West Yorkshire Playhouse <laughs> yes. which is in Le Leeds, Leeds. Leeds. <laughs> and we'll be <laughs> and at the we'll Albany in uh, in Deptford in London and uh, we'll be Birmingham, in Birmingham, there. Winchester, Winchester, Winchester. The last one's on the free there. Ipswich. There you go. Sure. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I didn't need the order key to remember. Uh, great to see you both. Thanks very Thanks much indeed. 8:49. Let's have a look at the weather.